Earlier this year, Toyota unveiled the new 250 series Land Cruiser, marking the highly anticipated return of the nameplate to the USA, with the same model to be sold as the Land Cruiser Prado in some markets including Europe and Australia. Shortly after, the Japanese automaker teased the shadowy silhouette of a compact off-roader while announcing plans to expand the legendary nameplate, sparking speculation about the potential introduction of another Land Cruiser variant positioned below the 250 series. Now, it's been reported that this, baby, Land Cruiser could go by the name, Land Hopper, serving as the cheapest point of entry in Toyota's growing lineup of off-road ready SUVs. The Land Hopper name was registered as a trademark on August 8 with the Japanese Patent Office. The trademark falls under the Class 12 definition, which encompasses such categories as motors and engines for land vehicles, couplings and transmission components for land vehicles, and other parts that may make up said land vehicles. We should note here that Toyota's choice of the Land Hopper moniker may be specific to certain markets like Japan, as they might employ a different naming strategy in other regions. For example, they could revive the well-known FJ Cruiser nameplate for the North American market or opt for an alternative name, such as Compact Cruiser, which aligns with the concept believed to preview the production model. Much like how the Bronco Sport borrows its engine options from the more pedestrian Escape, it's suspected that the Land Hopper could use versions of the Corolla Cross's gasoline and hybrid engine range, with the potential of the RAV4's powertrain options being offered as an upgrade. The magazine also mentions the possibility of an electric option being added down the line, but it has us wondering whether Toyota would go through the trouble of engineering a separate electric powertrain for what is supposed to be the most affordable Land Cruiser. With that in mind, the 250 series could get an electric option in the future, and the original compact cruiser concept was electric itself, so it can't be ruled out entirely. Either way, it seems like we'll be finding out more about the SUV soon, as the Japanese outlets predicts a reveal at the Japan Mobility Show in late October before an eventual release in the second half of 2024.